Let's just see what we're dealing with. Suddenly you feel like a child again. Afraid of the monsters hiding in the dark, it makes you feel like crawling into your parents' bed and hiding away for the night. However, that's not an option right now, so you just tuck yourself back to bed and close your eyes. Maybe if you pretend it's not there, it'll go away. What the fuck? <laughs> you stayed dead still on your bed until sunrise came, only daring to open your eyes when you felt the sunlight on your eyelids. Something came inside your room last night. It stood right next to you, so close you could hear its breathing. It definitely wasn't human. An animal? Well, it seems like they're both vi viable options. The carpet is covered in dirty footprints, so you know it wasn't a dream. Looking closely, the footprints don't look like they were made by a human, either. Man, that was a creepy noise. So should I go with this option? I think I just want to lock my door and not have these dirty footprints everywhere. There we go. Clean room. Oh. The floor is covered in dirty footprints. Looking closely, the footprints don't look like they were made by a person. An animal, maybe? Maybe. It was clawing at my door. Legit getting scared. Great. And the monster knows how to open windows. The footprints come from here. It looks like something entered through the window. But I locked it last night, didn't I? There's a strange black substance stuck to the lock. It looks like some kind of black spider web. Oh, it's gonna be a big old spider. You close the window again, wiping the substance away. I should probably clean this up too. Damn monsters messing up my house. Motherfuck. Four digit passcode. I have no idea what it is though. Okie doke. A new message? Mathematics Volume 4 Point Spiral Helix Axis What is this? A puzzle! Oh boy, I just remembered what it said about that my dad used to burn bugs with deodorant spray and a flame. And considering that she saw a dark spider web substance, I might have to do a little bug burning. A massive bug burning. A handful of books left here. Mathematics, volume four. Is this what Sen meant? You pick up the book. It's marked on a specific page. It's a chapter about spirals? A curve on a plane that winds around a fixed center point. And point. Okay, I see references to what he said. Axis, helixes. Okay, I'll look into that momentarily. Anything here? No. I'm just scouting out the place again, just in case I need areas to hide. This is different, isn't it? Oh, it's the nail puller. You should figure out where, where to put it eventually. But I, I want to put it in a bug's face. Okay, why don't I take it with me? I have room in my pockets. Omura speaking. Omura-san, it's Matsuda. Ah, yes, how can I help you? Something happened yesterday. Yes? I think an animal got inside the house last night? I didn't see it, but today there were footprints all over the second floor. An animal? Did it do anything? Not really. How did it get in? Through that window on the second floor, although I had closed it before I went to bed. That's odd. This area doesn't have any history with animal invading homes. Maybe it was a one-time incident. 
But just to be safe, be sure to lock everything up tonight, all right? Yeah. Only that the previous tenant also experienced this, Omura-san. Just tell him that, please. Should you really worry her by telling her about the animal? Yes. Hello? Hey, Mom. How's the new house? It's fine. No, it isn't. What happened? It's just... Something happened last night. I think an animal got inside the house. An animal? What kind of animal? Are you okay? I'm fine. I don't know what it was. It was gone by morning. So you didn't see it? No, I was in bed already. Well, are you sure it wasn't a dream? No, I'm sure. The house is covered in dirty footprints, and they came from an open window. I see. Well, maybe you should contact animal control and let them know there's a wild animal entering people's houses. I don't know if it got into other houses, Mom. Maybe it was just an accident. Still, don't forget to lock your windows tonight. Be safe, Nami. I'll be safe, Mom. So I guess what I have to do now is figure out the safe puzzle thing. So what did... No, not the bathroom. What did he say? Point spiral helix axis. So do I have to count the other instances? So we've got two points. The next one is spiral. So spirals are mentioned nine times, so we have two nine. And the axes and helixes are both four and four. Two, nine, four, four, four. You've opened the safe. There isn't much inside except for a few scattered papers. You pick up a few that have been clipped together. They're newspaper clippings. It's a small article, the kind that sits nowhere near the front page. It's about a missing child, thought to have run away from home. According to the article, the parents went to check on their son at night only to find him missing from his bedroom with only the bedroom window left open. The parents insisted that there was no reason for their son to run away, but authorities found no forced entry or struggle to signify an abduction. A missing child? This article is from nearly ten years ago. You pick up the next article on the pile. Missing child, runaway or abduction. It's another article about the missing boy. This one goes into detail about the investigation and how there were no signs of either abduction or the boy running away. The next article you pick up is distinctively bigger than the previous ones. Couple goes missing inside their own home. You read over the article. It's about the same couple with the missing child, except this time they were the ones who went who went missing. After not hearing from them for days, a relative went to check on the couple only to find no one home. When the authorities went to investigate, however, they found that the house had been locked from the inside. The only thing open was the window of their missing son's room on the second floor. There's a picture of the house with the article, but looking at it only confirmed your suspicion. It was the house you're in right now. You check the date of the article. It was written just a few weeks after the first missing child one. You take a look at the other articles, and they all seem to be about the missing couple or the child. The last one, however, is a small article about Furukawa Housing acquiring this house four years after the incident. According to the article, no one wanted to move in after it happened, so it was sold at a considerably smaller price. That explains why it was so cheap. At the bottom of the newspaper clippings pile, there's a handwritten note. Previous tenant disappeared without paying rent. Thought to be some kind of schemer or con artist. There's another pile of papers inside the safe. You put the newspaper clippings back and grab the other pile. Aiko left me a message today that she wanted to stop by the house to say goodbye before she moved away, but I couldn't answer at the time. I should have told her to stay away. When I got home, no one was there, but her shoes were by the entrance and her bag was on the table. That window was open, too. I think it took her. I can't tell this to anyone. They'll think I did something. It's true that I wasn't the best boyfriend, which is why she broke up with me in the first place. But we still had a lot of respect for each other. And I wish her the best at her new job. I swear, I could never do anything to her. She hadn't believed me when I told her about that thing, but still... I should have stopped her from ever stepping foot back in this house. And now she's gone. It took her over there. 
I've blocked up the window now because it seems locking the room didn't do anything, and tomorrow I'm getting the hell out and never coming back. I'll try to warn the agent who rented me the place, but I doubt he'll listen. What does he mean, it took her? You read the notes again, and then one more time, trying to make sense of everything. It's hard to make sense of it in a way that doesn't involve wild, outlandish theories. You decide to put it away for the night. Maybe you can look it over tomorrow. The window. Is it open again? God damn it. The window is open again. The same dark substance is stuck to the lock. There are no footprints inside, however. The other window is open as well. Fuck. What the hell? What is this? I need to run. Oh, man. Quickly think of all the hiding places I could go to. You need to get away. H how? On your haste to leave the house, you ended up tripping on the sidewalk. You fell down to the ground, hitting your head against the pavement. Oh, shit. <laughs> you feel your consciousness fading away. Atsu an? Atsuda san. Matsuda san. Matsuda san. Are you all right? What? What are you doing here? You're bleeding. I... Hey, don't... don't rush yourself. Are you alright? What happened? I don't know. Come now, we can talk inside. Let's get that wound taken care of. There, that should do it. Thank you, Honda-san. What happened? Why were- why were you laying on the street like that? I tripped. You tripped? Yeah, I was running and then I tripped. Why were you running? There was... something inside the house. Your head feels fuzzy. You have an idea of what happened that made you run out of the house, but you're probably remembering it wrong. That blow to your head must have gotten things mixed up. There's no way you saw what you think you saw. I think it was an animal? My head doesn't feel quite clear. That looked like it was a nasty blow. Are you sure you don't want to go to the hospital? No, I'm fine, really. It wasn't that bad. I still think you should go. Things like this shouldn't be played with. I'll just go tomorrow. If I feel anything else, I'll be fine, Honda-san. If you say so. Still, I insist you stay here for the night. Head wounds are no trivial matter. It's good to have someone watching over you. I don't want to impose. I insist. I can't, in all good conscience, send you home alone like this. You want to argue that it's unnecessary, that you feel fine, but at this point, you're too tired to argue. Thank you, Honda-san. Are you going already? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to get that checked out? Or maybe stay a little while longer? No, I should go. Truth be told, you don't really feel like going back home. But you don't want to overstay your welcome either. You don't want to trouble Honda-san any further. Thanks for everything, Honda-san. No, I don't really want to go home. You stop in front of the door. Your mind rushes back to the events of yesterday. Or as much as you can remember, and you hesitate. There's no way you really saw that... thing. Your head is just confused because of the blow it took. Right? So why did you run out of the house yesterday? Because of the scary monster. Mm-hmm. The house is covered in dirty footprints. They're all over the place. There's a sticky dark substance going all the way from the door handle to the table next to the door. It's the nail puller you bought. You should figure out where, where to pull it. 
put it? Does it want me to take it? Because I want to take it. I really want to take it. It's the phone. And tell her what happened? No, it'll just worry her. And then she'll tell your dad. And him with his heart condition. You probably can sort this out on your own. Yeah, all badass and like. There are footprints leading here. Your purse looks like it was moved. You take a look inside. You can't be sure of it, but it seems there are a couple things missing. Great. Now it stole my money. Man, it got all over the, the place. Jesus. On the bed, everywhere. Your pillow is on the floor, dirty and ripped. It's your bed. It's covered in footprints and your pillow is missing. The window is open. The footprints both come from and go to here. Yesterday. It couldn't possibly be true, could it? That creature. The rational part of your brain wants to deny it and chalk it up to that blow to your head. However, the other part of your brain, the one that can't help entertaining the idea of a superstition, the supernatural and the unknown, says that what happened was very much real and very much a threat. You decide to entertain that part of your brain. So far, you only know a handful of things about this thing, but nothing concrete enough for you to make an objective assertion about what it is. Speculation won't lead you anywhere, though. What you should do right now is go over the facts and make sure to focus on the ones that are the most important. Well, it only seems to come through the window. And at night. Although you can't fathom why, it seems the thing only comes through this specific window. Daiskesen seems to have thought so too, and this was the only window boarded up and the only room locked. Locking the window itself didn't do any good, though. It managed to unlock it from the outside somehow. Maybe that dark substance you found on the lock had something to do with it. it didn't go after you before. So far, that thing has only manifested itself at night. During the day, that house's window remains firmly closed. Although you also need to take into account the possibility that the timing might have been just a coincidence, so you can't be 100% sure it won't come during the day. Still, it's better than nothing. It didn't chase me out of the house, that's true. For some reason, it didn't pursue you when you went outside. You had tripped and were knocked out. It had enough time to drag you back inside. Did it stop because it wanted to, or was it because it couldn't go outside? Was it just another way of messing with you like it seemed to be doing before? Would leaving the house actually help? That thing came inside your house at least once before yesterday. It would have had plenty of chances to come after you before, so why didn't it? What exactly does it want? It turns out you don't know much, do you? Not enough to justify the distress that's coming over you, and especially not enough to justify leaving the house without any solid evidence. You have no idea what's going on, and the rational part of your brain tells you not to make any rash decisions until you can figure things out. Hell, you don't even know if what you saw yesterday was real or not, all thanks to the blow to your head. If it was real, and if whatever that was comes again tonight, you should find a way to confirm your suspicions once and for all. Maybe you can hide somewhere and wait for it to show up. Despite feeling unsure of anything, something tells you that confronting it directly would be a bad idea. Maybe you can also use something to collect some proper evidence. Well, we do have a camera. Mm-hmm. We're such a badass. This could be a good place to hide and wait for it to show up. But would it be a really good idea to hide here barehanded? No. We need the camera first. Just your old camera. Maybe you can use this to take a photo of the thing, and then you'd have some solid evidence. Yes, we will take the camera. Well, I guess it's go time. We have a camera, and we have a hiding spot. I really wish I didn't have to pee so bad right now. But it adds to the suspense. You step inside the closet. It's cramped, but there's enough space for one person inside. You leave the door open slightly, just enough for you to peek through the gap. You can see the sunlight fading away, little by little, as you wait anxiously, camera at ready. It's here. I think it knows I'm here.
What you saw yesterday was true, after all. And it's back. The creature suddenly throws the closet door open and grabs you by the ankle. On impulse, you flash the camera right on the creature's face. The creature stumbles back, dazed by the flash, allowing you to kick it aside and out of the way. I need to get out of here. Do you... you feel like you've made a mistake. You should have gotten out of the house when you had the chance. There's no time to dwell on that now, though. You need to go... Oh, shit. Um... Hmm. Damn it, this controls. What? When did it... It's... it's kind of killing me. So I can't go out the house. I'm monster chow now. So if I won't be able to run outside the door, where can I run to? You try pulling it off, but it seems fir firmly stuck to the wood. It's sturdy enough that it doesn't rip when you try to tear it in half. Oh, I didn't notice this before. There's something else you need to check. What? What? Why can't I just burn things? It's never an option. So I pretty much can't leave my house right now? Is that what's happening? Because that is not cool. Maybe I have to go to the bathroom and pick up the spray and fight it off. Because there's not many other exits if it locks that door. I don't think I can go out the window. Yeah, I have to go to the bathroom. I wish you'd just, you would just pick it up right now, girl, but whatever. You shut the door behind you and lock it quickly. Well, that's not what, where I meant to go, but fair enough. Even with the locked door between you and the creature, you don't feel safe at all. Thinking back, that thing did manage to unlock the window from the outside. What if it can unlock doors too? I need to do something. You try to open the window, but it's stuck. Damn it. Wait. You suddenly remember you have the lighter and the deodorant spray. Maybe you can... Yes. Press A to light the fire. Okay. Come on. Come on, boy. It took a while, but the creature eventually succumbed to the flames. You stood there, shocked, watching as it, as it started thrashing around violently and smashing into the furniture. Once you realized what was happening, you tried backing away, but your feet got caught on something and you fell down. You tried backing away, but... Despite being on fire, the creature held onto your ankle tightly, refusing to let go. Eventually, it wasn't the only thing that was on fire. So I still died. That wasn't a great ending. I need a new one. Another one. Okay, okay, we have to think about it. We have to get maybe the nail puller or to fucking burn that substance out off the door. Something, something like that. Ah, 
Yes. You spray fire onto the substance stuck to the door. That was it. Surprisingly and thankfully, it was quick to combust. Once it's out of the way, you push the door open and stumble outside. The creature doesn't follow you outside. You lay on the sidewalk, unmovingly staring at the house that's slowly going up in flames. The neighbors eventually start stepping outside to see what's going on. Honda-san comes rushing over to your side in worry. You vaguely note that someone must have called the fire department after they start showing up to put out the flames. It's no surprise when they take you in for questioning, considering how you were essentially holding a makeshift flamethrower on your hands. You tell them about the thing that got inside your house, how you thought it was an animal at first, but in reality you have no idea what it was. They ask you about the wound on your head. They question how severe it was. Honda-san tells them that she doesn't know as you refuse to go to a hospital. Both your mother and Omura-san confirm that you talked about this animal before, though, so the police becomes less inclined to think that you made it up. In the end, you get charged with reckless behavior for nearly setting the house and the rest of the neighborhood on fire, and Fukurama Housing ends up nullifying your contract to the house. That's okay, though. You're never setting foot back in there anyway. You were right. And that was From Next Door. Now that that's about the best ending I can think of. Uh, I, I tried going everywhere in the house, pretty much. But you are welcome to play yourself and see what other endings there might be. But this was a lovely game and very in theme with the uh, Halloween. But thank you so much for the developer for making it because it was very atmospheric. I've been the Zembear. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next game. Honestly, what the hell is with this house? It's the second tenant already. Hello? Is anyone in there? There's no record of anyone living here. Or better, there's no record at all. Of anything. How is this house still here? Hello? So I guess they wouldn't mind if I... What the hell? Maybe Matsuda was right. I don't think I want to know what's inside.